All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yahweh, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And as you see here, uh, this article is from Vice News. You know, uh, me and the brothers were talking about it amongst the chat. But it says, man jailed, raped, and beaten after false facial recognition match. A $10 million lawsuit alleges. It says, a 61-year-old man alleges that a facial, facial recognition algorithm used a mugshot from the 1980s to ID him in a crime he didn't commit. Harvey Murphy uh, was arrested and thrown in jail while trying to get his driver's license renewed at a local DMV. It says, according to a $10 million lawsuit, Murphy has since filed a loss prevention agent working for a Sunglass Hut retail store used fake facial recognition software to accuse Murphy of perpetrating an armed robbery at a store in Houston, Texas. It says, in reality, Murphy was more than 2,000 miles away at the time of the robbery. Hey, so this this also just goes to show that, um, like just like the Black Mirror portrays, you know, everybody is going to be using this technology to incriminate you, man. You know, it's not like it's just going to be, you know, Esau's agents to do it. Hey, but it's going to be the, the public fighting against uh, the, the public, man. Whoever they deem is, um, uh, whoever their technology, I'll say, deems as, uh, um, you know, a, a criminal. And that's um, who the public is, is going to also um, defame, you know, because it's a just a, a agent working at Sunglass Hut, you know. But let's keep going. It says, um, according to the lawsuit. It says he was arrested and put into overcrowded maximum security jail with violent criminals while in jail trying to prove his innocence. He was beaten, damn, gang raped and left with permanent and awful lifelong injuries. Hours after being beaten and gang raped, the charges against him were dropped and he was released. All of this because a company told the police based on AI that you were the one who committed terrible crimes. And as you said, he was 2000 miles away from where the crime even happened. But this goes to show you that Hey, this this algorithm is programmed to incriminate a specific, you know, a uh, group of people, man. Now, we ultimately understand, you know, this is going to be used, you know, to to try to incriminate, defame, uh, entreat and persecute the men of the Lord. And but Esau is just just testing right now. You know, the, the precursor in which China is set, hey, the whole world is going to adapt to that technology. You know, so I want to grab some precepts. This is uh, coming from the book of um, Revelation 12 and 12. Matter of fact. Up. I'm going to read 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the in the kingdom of our power, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. And the power of his anointed, Yahweh, Shai, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And that's exactly Esau's stance, man. You know, he's he's uh, opposite or opposed, adverse unto, unto um, the... Um, the plans of uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, one second. This is 11. It says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies, and they loved not their lives unto death, man. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. All right, Esau knows this is, is basically sand timer is, is winding down and he only has a few granules left. So he's going to try to persecute a at his uh, highest level. Right. So let's get back into this. It says. Um, the armed robbery happened on January 22nd in Houston, Texas. So like um, two armed men went into a sunglass hut, threatened two employees with guns and made off with cash and sunglasses. Um, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> and so basically all these companies also are going to have the same type of technology within all their stores, you know? And so it's just going to make it harder to maneuver, which we already understand the liberties that we have at the moment that Yahweh Shem Shah still is allowing us to have. They're going to be stripped from us. And once Esau comes down with that, that hard rigor. As a matter of fact, I want to go into the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. Hey, because the scripture speaks a bit of the draconian laws in which he's going to bring. This is Revelation 13, and I'll start here at uh, 11. It says, Now behold, another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb. Right? The two horns going to the two-party system. The original uh, plebeians and patricians, which is now your modern-day Democrats and Republicans. It says, And he spake as a lamb, right? It's like he horns like a lamb. Basically also showing forth that, you know, his, um, uh, you know, when you look at these, these two-party systems, 
they are in the position of, you know, keeping the people in a docile state of mind because they're promising them uh, certain type of benefits or certain types of um, legislations to be passed. You know, so they're caught up in the mindset that the, the system is for them when actually both ends of the system play against their benefit. It says, um, and he spake as a dragon. Right, and that dragon represents a draconian rule. So like, it says, and he spake as a dragon, right? And that dragon represents the draconian rule that Esau is about to bring, man. You know, which is uh, our harsh rigor. Basically, anybody that doesn't uh, bow down into what he deems as, as, uh, as law of the land, a will, will have a punishment, uh, which will ultimately then lead unto death, man. Right? It says, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Right? Now, I want to also go into 15. I'm just jump down. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. And the image of the beast are basically all the philosophies and, and standards in which Esau, you know, deems as, as, as truth. You know, his Hollywood industry, his, uh, um, it's like a madness plane go by. But the Hollywood industry, you got the, the medical industry and you have the, the entertainment industry. You have, um. You know, even AI. AI is part of the image of that beast as well. You know, because and with that, you know, that ultimately comes the merging of, of man and machine, which is uh, the technocracy in which he's trying to build. Right. Uh, believing in democracy is part of the image of the beast. So forth and so on. You know, uh, the FDC, it's like the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. Um, them being in unison. Basically, food is not food anymore, but food is actually drugs and drugs are still drugs. Um, but this is what he he's bringing out. You know, these are the the um the laws the legislations in which he's going to be um you know governing by right instead of being the, the laws of yahweh is going to be the the laws that that he sees uh fit so if he wants to accuse you in any way the ai is going to be uh just think of it as going into a courtroom they're going to be the ones that that testify against you right it says using artificial intelligence and facial recognition software um, it said they took that video from the robbery and determined Murphy was the robber. Hey, so you had individuals who were looking at the, the quote unquote evidence and they were still proven wrong. Right. So how much more a hey, win when you know that the true persecution comes, you know, everything is going to be against you un unless you have the spirit of Yahweh Shem a hey, on you and, and within you, man, because Yahweh Shem is going to be the only ones that are going to fight for us in the times and the persecutions that's coming. And as it says here, it says these camera systems watch people while they shop and occasionally provide evidence to law enforcement of crimes. Many of them produce poor quality images and videos that make it hard to identify people. And with them know that that, that still didn't, you know, stop them from, from persecuting and throwing that dude in prison. You know, so Esau knows that the technology is, is faulted, that the algorithm is, is, is you know, um, is not pure, so to speak. And yet he's still going to allow that to be, you know, um is going to do the heavy lifting for them, right? Hey, you see it in your phones. Hey, everybody has the, the facial recognition of phones. Hey, China, hey, look at look at how the people in China are governed right now. It's, it's straight draconian, man, you know? But I just want to bring this out to show forth hey, how, more, how much more frequent this is going to happen. And especially when Esau, you know, has this algorithm to specifically, um, you know, react to Jake, man. That's the point right there you know hey, ultimately we also understand that esau's technology is only going to hey, go as far as yahweh shemashah allows it to go hey just like the scripture talks about he has bounds that he cannot pass you know and the most high is not going to fully set him uh fully allow him to lock you to set that enterprise hey so we with knowing all this we, we know that this kingdom is, is is crumbling and it's soon going to be uh destroyed by yahweh shemashah hey so lord willing uh lord willing this lesson was edifying into the body so like you I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.